Okay. Begin at the beginning. This man that was following me, he... I never knew his name. I knew that he was average and he always wore a gray suit. Describe what this man would do to you. The man... He didn't exactly bludgeon me. He, um... He was merely tapping. Not causing any pain at all. I think I'd grown used to the tapping. And to him, for the most part. Why? It's like when a fly lands on your forehead and you don't feel any pain, you just feel annoyance. I'm so happy. I had an epiphany in therapy. You know the essence of the work. It also helps that the divorce went through this week. We spoke about this last week. I'm sorry, I don't remember. There's a lot going on. I had an appointment this week and I... Well, you were the one that told me the point of what therapy was to prod me with cues as I try and figure my way through this whole marriage versus open thing or whatever. Remember, we talked about this. My father, his affairs, my mother, her affairs, my fear of commitment. I don't know what I meant by that or whatever. It's your life, do what you need to do. Are you okay? Sometimes I shut things out. Last week I found out- What's going on over here? Girls telling secrets. I love it when girls tell secrets. Let me in on it, I want to know. I want to know too. Oh, shut <laughs> up! It's just that I have this appointment and I don't feel like I can talk to anybody. Listen, you should talk to my doctor. I think he's brilliant. And he will probably take you for scale. Just drop my name.
keeps hitting me on the head with this umbrella. How are the two of you connected? We're not. He just started hitting me with this umbrella one day. Are you husband and wife? No, I told you. Well, you seem awfully comfortable around him. Actually, he's not. If he were in the room with us, what would you say to him? Have you ever stopped and realized that I think I'd ask him why and Why it was when, why it was that when I continued without any regard for him that he felt compelled to thwack. <laughs> 